welcome to a Lego Marvel uh, Superheroes set review. This is set 76022 X-Men vs Sentinel new for 2014. Uh, we get to see Wolverine and Magneto again but now we're finally starting to get a few more of the X-Men. We've got Cyclops and Storm here um, and of course we do have the Sentinel in the, uh, the background a bit there. Not really a figure but still a character in the series nonetheless so we'll have a look at that. Um, it is a sort of two book um, um, set it's got about three bags in and we do get as well which is quite cool a comic book uh, with the new um, X-Men characters on there again kind of Sentinel and Magneto working together in some form but then switching over good thing about this comic book halfway through it flips over and it's a Guardians of the Galaxy comic book so if you're getting any of those sets you would have seen this already I imagine it's going to be the same comic book in, in all those sets Anyway, let's have a look at the, the, the figures uh, in a bit and we'll do a little uh, comparison. So if you stick around, we're going to see what the new Wolverine and new Magneto look like compared to their old counterparts. Um, and then we'll look at Cyclops and Storm as well. Um, but let's move those out of the way so we can have a look at the actual set itself. We're going to look at the Sentinel first of all, which is a lot smaller than I kind of thought. I know I've seen videos and, and seen it um, in terms of videos and stuff in, compared to the minifigures. But I, I didn't realise how small it was, but I kind of like the fact that it is still identifiable as a, a character you can play with, a figure that you can play with, rather than being this giant just part of the, the scenery, if you like, anything like that. Um, quite cool, it's got little wrenches for, for fingers there, um, printed torso, printed head, no stickers. It does have two um, rocket launchers, which are flick missiles, so you can bend those forward and flick them at your heroes or whoever you want to shoot. A couple of nice little um, trans orange dishes there for feet which means it can stand up and with these ball joints for the hip, knees, shoulders and elbows it means you can kind of pose the figure in any way you want and if you want to there's a half pin here which if you uh, maneuver your mini figures properly sticks to the back of their legs You've got holes at the back there. So then you can have the Sentinel holding your minifigures like that, grabbing them, throwing them around, whatever you want to do. They don't hold that well, um, to be honest, but, you know, it kind of does the job for playability. It's probably as good as you could probably get it, I guess, without having actual studs on their hands there. So it's quite cool. i put the Sentinel out the way, him or her. Nice bit of the new pink uh, colour as well just to make it a bit more different. So that's out of the way. Um, next we do have the X-Men um, ship if you like. So Marvel have the Quinjet um, and X-Men have the is it Bluebird? Blackbird? One of the two. I can't remember. I should probably have looked that up. Um, again with a couple of flick muscles. We do have cockpit which you can see into there a um, couple of seats and we do have as well a cargo area again with a couple more seats and we do have a sticker tile there that says warning sentinel approaching which is quite cool um, and then within that you do have uh, a box that lifts up I'm not sure if it's supposed to flip out or have a movement but basically it's a little cabinet in there with some tools a fire extinguisher that just sits in the back Nice little bit of detail that's quite cool. And um, the wings are really, really nice. Again, remind me of the Quinjet because it's got all the angles and, and looks really sleek. And we do have the last bit of detail, which is this ow, rocket launcher, which I've only just kind of figured out. As you can see, basically, just to give you a demonstration, the, that's the front of the, the rocket there, and there's the, the back that sticks out. If you push it down, um, it will fly out quite fast and quite easy that's probably gone missing somewhere so in my basement that's brilliant um, just to note as well I've, I've kind of put wheels on the bottom of this because it sits better with wheels I think I might take them off again but when it's it's displayed when it's like flat on the table if I just take these wheels off you'll see the wings kind of fold up when it's sat on the floor and um, it's not a huge problem but I just think it looks nicer as like a little uh, jet rather than a Um, no, anything else. 
as a, a flat boat type thing. So I've put those on, but obviously not essential. A couple of stickers on the windscreen. There was a sticker on the side in, in, in that cabinet that we looked at just there as well. I think that's pretty much it for this set. So let's have a quick look at the figures. Okay, so here are the figures uh, and we'll have a look up close, see what they look like in detail so you can get to see whether you, you want to buy the set for the figures. They are great figures and I would say, you know, for someone who's looking to perhaps complete their X-Men lineup or their superhero lineup, you kind of need to get some of these figures, Cyclops obviously and Aurora, aka Storm. So here she is, um, she does have a double sided face, she comes with the lightning bolts that we've seen in a few uh, sets obviously with um, the Emperor from Star Wars etc. So she, one of the notable features is she does have this new cape, um, which as you can see is kind of split in two, it's almost like a, I don't know, a W shape, a moustache shape if you like. So bits go around her wrists, so when she's up there, it, the bits of material follow up. You can see it better for yourself basically. Anyway, she does have a double sided face, this is her kind of angry storm inducing face. She does also have um, kind of the happy face as well which I think is cool, lots of detail, but I think my favorite is definitely the angry face. Weird kind of skinny sort of body look outfit. I guess it's kind of her outfit, but from the comic books, but still it's kind of okay, I guess. Um, one thing as well, sorry, there is a bit of back printed, not a huge amount, just the back of her top, which is quite common now for most figures in these sort of sets. You do get some sort of back printing going on. Okay, next up we have the new Magneto. I'll do the comparison at the end so you can see what he looks like. He comes with hair this time. Before we only had him with um, the helmet, which I'll show you in a second. So he does have this um, Count Dooku hair. And again, I've got him on sort of angry face. He does have the muscular torso, top, purple trousers. He does come with this sort of hoverboard. And if you remember from the Chopper Showdown with the original magnet, he had just a round disc. So it's kind of a step up from that, a bit of construction required. We'll just show you his normal face, which again is classic sort of the Count Dooku Magneto face. And again, we do have some back printing as well. But let's have a look at him with his his helmet on. Now it does come with this white or tr sort of transparent, sorry, plastic stud piece, so he can hold his hold his helmet, which is quite cool. And there he is. So great figure. Next up, brand new one. We have. Cyclops. Obviously he only has one side to his face. He does have a bit of back printing to show the back of his head but because there's no hell, hair or helmet to hide the other expression. So uh, quite a simple one. Nothing out the ordinary. No hair, capes, helmets, claws or anything like that. But this kind of just epitomises Cyclops. Um, not my favourite X-Men to be honest but He's kind of leading, he's kind of one of the main characters he needs to be in almost any X-Men set. Next up is the new Wolverine. So he um, is about to be dropped. He has yellow and brown printing this time. Again, a bit of back printing rather than the blue and yellow, which we'll look at in a second. Again, comes with claws. And this time he does have the trademark Wolverine mask, which without looks like that. So that's how you get the white animal eyes, if you like. And then on the back, we do have Wolverine with a normal face. So if you want to just wear him with um, his hair piece that this does come with, that looks more normal. But obviously, this print is literally 
designed for that mask piece. I think so anyway. Again we've got the claws, nice bit of printing, nice bit of detail. As I said we do get the, the extra hair piece as well like we do with Magneto. Cool. So let's do a quick comparison of the minifigs so you can see what new and old look like. Again, gritted teeth, again, normal face on one side. You know what? They are slightly different. They have put a bit of effort in. And I like the brown and yellow. It's a different look. It's a, it's a different X-Men look. I think I probably prefer the new one. I love the old one anyway, but I love the new one because it's got this this mask piece, which is so iconic for Wolverine. Sums them up perfectly. And we'll do a quick comparison of the Magnetos. Again, you might be trying to get hold of the helicopter showdown. And as soon as I saw that, I wanted it. But these figures are different. More comic book. More... Uh, cartoonish in sort of printing on the, the torso you know what I love them nonetheless it's the back of the old one the angle one so we've got the same expression I personally would have liked to see more different figures we've got four figures in this two we've had before could we have asked for you know maybe a, a different X-Men baddie? So I don't know, one, you know, Saber Tooth or um, Toad or just one of the regular the bad guys that we see. Mystique would be amazing, and maybe a different X-Men. But you know what? They're different. They're different enough to be classed as different. They're not exactly the same figures like Spider-Man. You get the same Spider-Man every single set. So my, I'd say, brilliant. Thanks. Thanks for watching.